Hello friends, and what you see in front of you is a prototype, and it's a prototype of, uh, tada, yes, it's a headphone amp. I've been working a long time and trying to get an idea to give you uh, the design for, and, um, and I'll uh, do it in a complete build on a headphone tube amp that is simple but brilliant and mesmerizing sound. And um, I used to have, I had a design for this. I was about to share it, but then I couldn't help myself being a fan of directly heated tubes to look into, could I make a very simple amp with directly heated tubes? And so what I've done is something pretty unconventional is use a step up. This is a Landau LL 1922, so 1922. Uh, it's a four times, in configured in a four times step up. And this goes to the 441PL, that is a directly hated pentode. Um, I'm using a filament bias, so no capacitors, no bypass capacitors. Um, still very high amplification because of that. And um, it, it's wired up in triad mode. And this has a mesmerizing sound. So I'll take you to the rest of the design. Um, I'm still I'm still working on it, but this is sort of my first interim report on the design, and everything from here will be um, a further iteration of this, and I will share the iterations, and then we'll see where we end up. Um, but first, I'll take you through the design. So as said, it's a filament um, bias. I'm using a single tube stage. This um, now. Some of the requirements of the input is it needs to have something that can drive some current and preferably high signal levels. So these um, inter these input trans these input transformers like a high signal level. If it's too low, you'll get distortion. It's not good for it. Um, at the moment, just an Alps blue there. So that's the setup. If you had XLR, for example, you would get uh, more than four volt input. Perfect for these high signal levels, high drive, brilliant. Um, but single ended also works, but you want a deck that can drive it. So I'm using the, the sheet um, Bifrost 2 and it does a good job on this. It sounds mesmerizing, this amp. So what is here, um, I've got here an R-Core transformer. It's only used to power the filament supply, so it's about 17 volts. I'm using a 12 volt and a 6.3 volt out on this transformer. And this goes through a Scotty diode and then a three stage, uh, which brings the ripple down to about eight, seven, eight uh, millivolts. Which you could use probably in other states, but at the moment it's fine. The hum is very, very um, low. As soon as the music starts, it will be, uh, you don't hear it, but it's still audible. And this is a very sensitive driver. So that's the filament supply. Let's further look here. This is the main voltage, um, the B plus for the, the tube. So what we have got here is a small logic board that um, rectifies it, rectifies the, 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 the voltage and also this voltage regulation. And for that, it uses a tube. Um, so it's the tube that actually a pass tube um, which controls the current and that goes into a 40 Henry coil uh, for 40 Henry inductor and it's bypassed by a uh, ceiling fan high current ceiling fan does very little um, I don't can't hear the influence of this um, and that this by itself so here you have the voltage regulator but this really makes it into a, um, a current source and then we've got uh, two Chinese built C cores, uh, which are um, amorphous C cores. Um, these are cheap, but they sound very good for the money. However, being amorphous core, whatever they did, it, it does have a sort of brightness in there that I'm, 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 I'm I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll, I'll, the next iteration, the next video will about um, replacing it with this, and I'll report back on what it's going. So this is the the, the London LL. 2774 uh, and this is a headphone it is a 1.3 kilogram um, headphone um, transformer output transformer with low winding ratio so it's a 1 to 13.6 or half of that so that's that's like 6.7 uh, 6 or something 6.6 .6 windings so 2 to 13.6 um, so very low winding ratio that should uh, deliver um, 
very little influence, high inductance. So um, yes, no losses there, full bandwidth, high bandwidth um, unit. So and that should have a higher bandwidth than that. Um, couple of wire ones. So that, that's really the whole circuit and the whole setup. As I said, I will do first two experiments. Once I go to a more final stage, I will um, draw you a schematic of this whole setup and, um, and probably a parts list. Um, but for now, this is it. Um, so my listening impressions, just to, to, to top that all off. This is a mesmerizing amp. This, this amp really sucks me in. And, um, and not because, because it has any... Not because of tonal qualities, but the, the musicality, the, 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 the pace and rhythm, the, the, the ambience, the... Um, you feel that this thing is unbelievably transparent in what what it display what what it brings back to you. There is there is just you don't feel there is an amp in the signal or path. It is very good. Um, apart from probably a tweak in the tonal balance with this transformer, so I'm very interested to see what it will do. Um, otherwise, yeah, because there's no caps really in the signal path. This one is the closest one. Um, but it probably does very little because of just the, the high impedance of the of, of, of a headphone like this. Um, most of it is voltage swing. There's very the, the current is low. The, the the current variation is very low. So I think um, um, this is pretty much an instant current source with very little voltage drops in it. Um, and then um, th th these uh, filament resistors are just big 15 watt, um, 47 ohm. Um, wire ones and um, yeah they seem to do a good job um, and this whole setup ma makes sure that the, the, the amplification doesn't diminish too much by using no um, by having no bypass resistor so um, um, I love that setup uh, I think it's sound it's a fabulous setup for directly heated triads is to use a filament uh, uh, filament resistor if you can and, and with high with with output tubes like this, which are times eight, um, not times four or lower, um, you, you, your, your bias is not too high to have um, too much voltage drop in the load. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm very happy with this tube amp um, and um, to be continued. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you have any questions on, on this design or um, um, questions on anything else that related with this, Post them in the comments and I'll uh, try to get back to you quickly. Um, so far this is it. In my next video, you'll um, or a next video, I will talk about what happens when uh, it gets replaced by that. And then I might uh, move over and put this in a push-pull configuration and use uh, a Lundell Amorphous core and see what that does. Um, and then we'll compare the sound and then I'll make uh, probably make a decision on a more final build of this amp. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you for listening. Have a brilliant day. Um, enjoy and I'll hope to catch you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.